Hello everybody, my name is Ryan, I'm with Learning Works for Kids. At Learning Works for Kids, we believe games can be used to learn, and today we're playing an awesome game called Civilization V. Um, we're playing on the Brave New World Expansion Pack, and yeah, if you never heard of this game, it's kind of like a Risk type game, where you have to take your little nation or empire and basically just take over the world. But in this game, it, it's not all about war, like risk or something. It's You could win through like diplomacy, you could win through science, you could win through money, um, or you could win through war if that's how you are. Yeah, this game is a great example of a game like Minecraft or something that could be used to show all different types of thinking skills. But uh, today I'm just going to be really focusing on planning and working memory while we're playing. Yeah, I think the best way I can show you this game is really just starting it up. So, we're going to play some single player right now. And if you click play now, it just gives you um, the map size continents, map size small, um, like a default like difficulty level and difficulty level in game pace and um, it'll give you a random leader so we're just gonna go at it it looks like I was given Noble Maria, and virtuous Queen like Maria Theresa, Holy Roman Empress and Sovereign of Austria the people bow to your gracious will following the death of your father King Charles VI you ascended to the throne of Austria during a time of great instability but the empty coffers and diminished military did little to dissuade your ambitions. Faced with war almost immediately upon your succession to the throne, you managed to fend off your foes, and in naming your husband, Francis Stephen... Okay, okay, that's enough. But I got the Austrian Empire, and each empire, or each um, nation, or wherever you want to call it, has its own little, like, special attributes, and mine this was... This is a good place to found a city. I do not need her Food talking to me this entire game. Here. So, Plus I your settlers am found going city to go button. to... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No advice. I've played this game a couple times, so I know the basics. I don't really need them telling me how to do it all. But... Yeah, if you're if you ever get this game and you're not sure every single thing about it, um, it can really guide you through with tutorials. But yeah, let's get back to it. So I'm the Austrian Empire. I was thrown next to some some ocean. It looks like if you hover over, um, it just says coast and crabs and whatnot. So it's little things I can develop later on. But yeah, it starts you off with some settlers to start your first city, and it starts you off with some um, Austrian warriors. Which, so I'm gonna take my settlers, go over here and click found a new city, and boom, I have already made a new city. The start of a journey. Um, and I'll take my warriors and explore a little bit. Yeah, so this game is a game that will kind of last a while. I won't be able, I 100% won't be able to play that throughout the entire game this episode, but. I thought I'd give you guys a nice insight into this game. If you guys want to see the rest of the game, I could always play it, but I thought I'd just show you it for now. So I'm going to start off and choose what I want my first city to make. Um, right here, this is when planning comes into par. Um, I could go down multiple options. I could make workers to help develop my land around my city. I could build a monument to develop some culture, which helps my city grow. Um, I could build scouts. I could build more warriors to fight off barbarians if they come near my city. I could do all different types of things. So, I think I'm gonna go with the the monument. This little thing means my um, my economic advisor recommends building it, and I agree with her. I think the monument is a great thing. Um, another. Um, another really planning aspect of this game is the technology tree. The technology tree is a really cool thing that really sets the pace of the game. The technology tree brings you through the different eras. It starts you in the ancient era, then the, 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 the classical era, medieval era, renaissance, etc, etc, until you're in the information era, which is almost like future tech and whatnot. That takes a lot of turns to get through, and we're still on, what, turn one? Or turn zero. <laughs> but I think a good start... Hmm. Let's see what I want. Let's let's go, let's go back a little bit and plan what I want for my future. Um, 
I could go in many different ways. You can build wonders like pyramids, build walls for your city. Um, hmm. Okay, so if I go under archery, I can get this thing called the Temple of Artemis, which gives me growth and food and production to my city. So I think I'm going to go that way. It's all preference, and it's basically how you want to play the game throughout it. But the economic advisor, not the, just, well, I should say all the advisors really help you out and do go down different paths. Yeah, so I'm just moving my little warriors that it gave me around throughout these turns to explore the area around me and see if I can find anybody else. Ooh, I have found ruins. Ruins discovered. Ruins are pretty cool as you can find sometimes technologies, extra workers, any a lot of everything. You find survivors in the lost ruins. Uh, ruins explored, you find survivors. Yeah, so I found just civilians and whatnot, so it just increases the population of my city. Um, which you can see by that number right there. Let's keep going. Wonder what's at the end of this. Oh, it doesn't end. I think it'd be pretty cool to find someone by the end of this episode. Oh, found some barbarians. Not nah, I should have, I spoke too soon. Barbarian encampment discovered. Um, yeah, we're gonna be careful. That is one thing about um about decision making in this game. I could I could decide to attack them. It, I'd get a minor victory, but I'd also hurt my only like warriors out right now. So I think right now I'm going to avoid it until I build um, some some things and get some archers made from from researching. And that's when skills like working memory are really used in this game. Like I had to remember, oh yeah, I built I, I'm researching things like. Um, archery so later on I can build some archers and bring them up there and then rather than just destroying my troops right now I'm gonna agree with my advisors build some workers whoa okay the haft of the arrow had been feathered with one of the eagle's own plumes we often give our enemies Okay, I have discovered archery. So after these workers, I'm probably going to make some archers and come out and take out this barbarian camp. Hmm, let's see. I could also... I see a lot of animals around here. Like, there's little deers and sheep, and there's some cattle over here. So I think animal husbandry would pretty, be pretty cool to research. While it's, while it's good to, like, look into the future and try and go down specific paths, it's also good just to... Like, look around your land and pick what you want. Pick what makes sense, you know? Okay. Since I built a monument earlier that raised my culture, um, it's allowing me to adopt a policy, which are pr little tree, like, I, I'd call them little perk trees. They help you out in, in like, developing what you want to develop as fast as possible such as like I could go down the tradition tree and get faster production I could go down honor which would be more for military um, I could go down like religion aspects I, I think I'm gonna stick with um tradition I like the ability to get happiness and adopt this social quality I think this this little one's really good. It allows me to um, produce wonders and stuff pretty quickly, and I can get growth for my cities and all that cool jazz. So, next turn, baby. My warriors are kind of finding the the end of the earth up here, which means I kind of need to bring them back. I gotta be careful. I wanna explore like to the edge of the mist, but I don't I don't wanna kill my warriors doing it, so take my time, explore as I do. Can 
can already adopt another policy. And I'll put one into that point I was talking about earlier. Thou shalt not muzzle the ox when he treadeth out the corn. Okay, so... So I finished researching another thing, which um, allows me to like make pastures and whatnot. So when these workers are done, I can gather up all these little animals to populate my beautiful city of Vienna. This game is pretty cool too, because you can you don't have to stick with the names or anything. You can go in and, and customize them all. I can even though I'm Austria, I don't have to go with all the Austrian names. I can make this Rizzletopia. Because I like to go by the in-game name Rizzle. So that's cool. I'll go with that. And let's look down. Hmm. I can make water mills if I go down here. Circuses for happiness. I think I'm gonna gotta work my way through a little bit of everything. I'll get some pottery next. And explore as the time goes on. Awesome. Yeah, as you can see, it's a pretty long base game, um, and it requires a lot of thinking and planning as you go through it. And I definitely will not be finishing this game up in this episode. I'm only on turn 17, and it can take up to 200 plus turns. It's it's something you save and pick up when you got some free time. It's another little relaxing game you play when. When you got some buddies on that just want to, you know, build a couple empires, battle it out, or just um, go ahead and enjoy the life. Okay, so um, next is I, I researched the one uh, that wonder earlier that I was talking about to make this Temple of Artemis, which um, gives me growth and production in my city. Yeah, production increases like the. The higher production your city has, the higher, the faster, I should say, that it like makes these little things like wonders and workers and all that. While um, <coughs> the amount of science like helps you research faster and the amount of culture um, helps you adopt these policies faster. So there's a lot of different ways you could play it. You can like specifically go for trying to get all of these really fast and go kind of culture based or you could focus on production so you can make a lot of military or something or you could just run down and just focus on maxing out all these and go under the wonderful world of science so we're going to adopt another policy continue down this tree um, garrison units this isn't that good it's more of a military thing but to access these ones below and I need to get it so I'll just get it and my workers finished. So we're gonna walk them over here. Next turn, we're gonna have them construct. Actually, you know, yeah, we could start it right now. Get to work. Okay. And my happiness in my city is nine. Um, just from the different little things we have around our city. So all my civilians are happy and working now. Let's see. Shall the clay say to him that fashioned? Ooh, I found I found some Mayans. Oh, all al discolo. Cuyar al ten hak Yeah, in this game, the main objective is to be the winning nation. So even in single player, there's all different types of nations that you're gonna run into and that you're gonna have to either battle through science or or diplomacy or just actually battle um, to try and win the game so I have met Lord Pakal of the Maya he's a pretty cool dude look at him I wish I had a feather hat like that it's pretty styling um, when you meet other people you can you can discuss stuff you can trade we'll trade see if we have anything um, we neither we're both at the beginning so you really don't have much he probably won't do this but we ask him if he wants to be buddies Make sure. Oh man, you won't be buddies with me? Lame. Okay. This guy doesn't want anything to do with me. But since he came up from my south, um, 
I can kind of assume that he's his nation somewhere down here, so I think it'd be pretty cool to try and find him next before the end of this episode. Yeah, I think writing would be cool. Um, you get this thing called the Great Library underwriting. Um, and the Great Library really helps with science. It gives you an entire free technology. Like, you can just pick one of these and take it for free as long as it's, like, green and you've gotten there. So, let's go next turn. Oh. Keep exploring. Hmm. It's my boy Pakal. He said he'll give me one gold per turn if um if I if he puts an embassy in my city so like he can see my city. Although we're friends, Pakal, I don't think this is a really good deal. One gold's not a lot, and I don't know if I want you seeing my city yet. So I am sorry, but I must refuse. Oh, yeah, the barbarians, the barbarian archers are fighting the Bacal spearmen, or the Mayan spearmen, I should say. Where is this guy's city? Oh, more barbarians. I'm going to actually have to make some archers soon, just because of all these dudes I'm running into. And it's just a good, um... Little security thing to. Uh, the world's most progressive people. Yeah, the game gives you some updates from time to time telling you how you're doing. Apparently, I, I'm one of the top three dogs. I haven't met any of these other people, so I can only see Bacall. But. Next. Since these, um. Archers are coming pretty close to my place. I can just use my city and actually attack them. And I can also like put archers in my city to attack even more, but I haven't built archers yet, so. Okay, so yeah. My workers have finished creating that pasture. Well the next um smart thing to do would be um make another pasture over here for these sheep. Um, or make a farm over here like you can see little icons that are suggesting those um, I have to be careful because these barbarians could come in and just take my workers and So I'm gonna be careful with them. I'm gonna move them up here and Click next turn and after I researched writing I'll probably oh yeah, I'll let you guys take a nap after I research some writing I'll probably get some mining or something so I can do something with all these little um, hills and whatnot on my land. But I really want to find this Mayan place. Ooh. I've met Brussels. Brussels is a city state. It is not a player. It is not a computer like nation or anything like me. It is just a little extra city in the middle. Um, you can you can like take them over. You can become allies with them or even you can, you can do a lot of things with them you can even trade with them and whatnot but let's keep going um next turn doing a lot of nothing right now i've discovered Eat. writing we're gonna stick with the thing i the working memory i said we are going to <laughs> use these workers to make a mine so we need to research mining keep going There's a lot of barbarians around me. Oh god, these archers are shooting at my warriors, no! Okay, I've, I've been able to adapt another policy, so I'm gonna go provide a free culture building in your first four cities. I'll take it. I like to go down one of these full trees because you get little bonuses like you see how it says um adopting all policies like they give you bonuses if you complete the full trees and whatnot. Okay, that was that was beautiful. 
Um, my boy Pakal says if he'll show me his city if I show him my city, basically. Um, I like that because I, I haven't even found his city yet. and I'd really like to kind of know where he is and he's right next to my city. So I'm going to accept this one now. It's better than the previous offer that he gave me. Yeah, it's way down here. I think I'm, now that I've seen his city, I'm going to bring my guys back up and use some defense, I guess. Okay, um, well that's Civilization Five. I don't, I don't want to make this video too long. If you guys really want to see more Civilization or some multiplayer Civilization or something, um, just tell me and I'll make some. This is just a um, little highlight of the game. It's a very long game that would, it would have to be made into a series just to actually get through one game. But it's a pretty fun game full of strategy, different thinking skills, and just a fun time. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like it, tell me and we'll make more. Um, goodbye. Thank you.